Hey there, everybody. I'm Mark with Stonebrook, by the way. And um, I want to answer some questions that we have, uh, one question at least in this case, where, that people have sent in. If you have any questions, by the way, you can send them anytime to 415 SB Rocks. And we love to discuss questions. Doesn't mean, when we say answer questions, doesn't mean I have all the answers. But uh, actually, the discussion and the conversation is the most important thing. But here's a question that someone sent in. Said, I see so many new age type Christians. Um, they do astrology, healing crystals, energy from the universe or objects, other things like that. How, how do other things, how do those things fit in with following Jesus? It's a great question. Thanks for that. Um, the churches that I came up in would have said they don't have anything to do with Jesus. Ah, uh, run, if you will, that is uh, something that's happening with demons and whatever, so you shouldn't be involved with that at all. And um, my initial answer is going to be maybe, maybe not. First of all, some people would say, well, somebody that's doing anything with astrology or the universe or whatever, they can't be a Jesus follower. Well, first of all, I find in the New Testament, there's a book, 1 Corinthians, where Paul is writing to a church that he planted that is full of Jesus followers. And they were doing a lot of very interesting things uh, and didn't have you would call exactly orthodox beliefs. Many of them didn't even believe in the resurrection of Jesus. Yet they were part of, they belonged to what we call the church. Belonging to a church, being a follower of Jesus, isn't about getting everything right, isn't about having all your doctrine just lined up perfectly. We all have to believe and agree the same thing. It's about being in a family. And in a family, people have different personalities. They come from different places in life. We are all in process. I'm very much in process, very much growing, very much changing. Things I thought uh, were absolutely correct 10 years ago, I'm like, well, I'm not so sure now. And things that I didn't think were right, I'm like, well, I think that's right. It's all a growth process. Having said that, um, do I think that healing crystals bring actual healing? I don't. Do I think that there's some energy in the universe that I worship? Well, I would call that energy God. I believe all that energy comes from him. And here's the thing as well. Uh, so many times Christians, Jesus followers, can get really exclusive and guarded because of certain things they believe and really put down every other religion. Jesus said that he was the only way to truly understand God. But the thing is, God is working everywhere all the time. Wherever people are, he works with whatever in their culture, whatever in their background, he can to lead them to a better understanding of him. It's not about getting people to heaven. I want people to know God. And for some people, if there are certain objects, if there are certain other things that lead them to be curious about who God is, and God is going to leverage whatever he can in a person's life, whatever understanding they have, if it's healing scriptures, if it's looking to the heavens for certain things, if it's talking about uh, an energy in the universe that they're feeding off, he's not saying to his children, uh, oh, you are bad, or you can't be a Jesus follower unless you abandon that. He's going to use whatever he can to lead them into a fuller, closer relationship with him. I believe Jesus taught, and he was in a, a society and a culture in the first century where people were very much into religious rituals and things that actually had nothing in the world to do with who God actually is and being in a relationship with him. But what he did was lovingly invite people to simply follow him. So when someone asks, what do these things have to do with following Jesus? Maybe nothing. But what I want to do is simply point people to Jesus. If Jesus wants them to let go of certain things, that's between him and them in their relationship. I believe Jesus taught that we don't need anything at all to know God. But if there's something on the way to getting to that point that helps someone, I'm not going to put them down for that. I'm going to simply continue to point them to the relationship 
that they can have with Jesus. I hope that sort of answers it. But uh, thanks for the question. And we'll talk about more questions later. Thanks.